so my speech is on uh, does religion cause war and my claim was yes that it is the root of war uh, if we look at wars throughout time we see that many wars were rooted by religion crusades jihad the spanish inquisition etc and um, well one article i found by abc news that's uh, an example of this would be India, Pakistan, troubles rooted in religion. Uh, since the separation of the two in 1947, there has been controversy over a piece of land that was assessed to India by the Kashmiri ruler at the time, uh, Maharaja Hari Singh. And basically they had a document that stated this. And Pakistan had a argument that because that state was 75% Muslim, they, people were against it, but because of the ruler, they had been assessed to India. And for 65, war, for 65 years, they fought four wars that killed over 100,000 people because of religion. Uh, another example of current day, BBC News, Mike Aldrich, in the article, uh, Can Religion Be Used for War? He showed um, George Bush and Saddam Hussein using religion to uh, help them in war and also justify military campaign. And in this, you can see that politicians can use religion to get people to fight in war. Like, if you look at most of the Middle East, they use child soldiers. And what they tell them is, well, you're doing this in the name of religion. If you do this, then you will be welcomed to heaven by God. And that is their campaign for war. Uh, well, factual data I found would be uh, an author of Mistbusters, Without Religion, There Would Be No War, Justin Fairman. He claimed that religion is such a big part of war that he took it upon himself to make a list of wars that weren't caused by religion. And in his list, he only had 21 wars. So out of probably thousands of wars that have been conducted. Uh, this shows that religion is a large part of war and the evidence proves that religion is the basis.